Good afternoon, everyone. I hope nobody missed me too much this morning, but I thought I'd. Mr. P's gone back to work, so I thought, what the heck? I will do a an afternoon live stream instead. So here I am. I've got all my jobs done, so that's everything out of the way. Um, I've got the one viewer. Hello to the one viewer. Um. Hey Dennis, how are you? Um, got the two viewers. Hello to the two viewers. Um, yeah, I just uh, Mr. P's gone back to work. I've washed all the pots and everything from lunchtime, so I thought, hey ho, I'm gonna go do a short live stream. So, uh, and here I am. I hope the uh, everyone got the notifications that I was going live, but. If not, you know, good. Um, are you celebrating tonight for your anniversary? Are you taking Emma out somewhere special? Or have you been out somewhere special? Um, me and Pixie just recently um, celebrated 15 years together. Well, married anyway. Um, so, so, yeah, so... Um, we were married 15 years on the 21st of June. So, hi, Joe. Oh, you're on the bus to Liverpool, are you? Doing anything interesting? So, as I say, I've got everything done what I wanted to do. So, um, I thought being as... Uh, Eagle VP went live this morning, well, coffee, tea morning, whatever you want to call it. I thought I'll just go go live for an hour or two this afternoon. I do know that Midnight Raven's uh, going live at three o'clock. Oh, you are celebrating later. That's good then. So as I say, I mean, when it was Man and Pixies, uh, wedding anniversary we sort of went out over the weekend after the wedding anniversary because it was sort of midweek so we just did a live stream oh yeah not really but check the video tomorrow we'll see what i did that that should be cool so uh so yeah so um not really in anything interesting to tell you it has been sunny it keeps sort of going in Bits and bats, uh, the sun keeps coming out, but it's very, very windy. But they did say towards the end of the week it was going to get really hot again. So, um, uh, hey, all just getting ready for, yes, she means work. <laughs> so, uh, so basically, I mean, at least it's a little bit cooler now, Emily. It's not as hot as it has been. Um, I'm finding it a little, little easier now. It's cooled down a bit, but it's I don't know whether it's calm before the storm because uh, apparently towards the end of the week it's going to get hot again. So. Uh, Okay then, okay then, Joel. I'll see you later. Bye. So I don't know how many is going to come in. Um, you know, it was sort of a, a last minute sort of thing. You know, I didn't intend going live, and then Pixie went back to work, and he says, "You know what you're going to do?" And I says, "Well, I've got all my jobs done, so I might even go live for an hour." So that was that. So uh, we're down to the three viewers. So obviously it wasn't a good idea to, you know, was it a good idea to go live at this time? I don't really know. So, uh, we'll see, we'll see how many, how many comes in. So, uh, 
I'll uh, just uh, texting it out to a few people. Hiya James, how are you? What have you been baking? Well, I did some baking over the weekend, but I didn't vlog it because I did the lemon drizzle, which I've already done, and I made a sticky toffee pudding for after Sunday lunch, so I'd already vlogged that as well. So, um, I'm just... Uh, Text this out to a few friends because we've only got the three viewers at the moment. So, a very slow one today. But I have been there. Uh, oh, we're down to one viewer, so everybody's left. So we're back up to the two viewers. I'm doing good. How's your weather? Well, at the moment, it's a little bit windy and it's sort of sun keeps coming in and coming, going, going back. But I have a, it on a good authority that it's going to get a little warmer towards the end of the week, back to normal. We have sort of had a break from the really, really hot temperatures. For a few days we've had thunderstorms we've had rain etc but it is sort of starting to get a little bit uh going to be starting to get warmer towards the end of the week so so i've been uh, reliably informed um pixie was going to go out on the drone yesterday evening uh <laughs> We well, see because the Eagle VP went this morning. I, I weren't going to do one, and then Pixie went back to work, and he says, "You know what? You got planned for this afternoon." I says, "Not a lot, really. I might even go live for an hour or two. So there you go. So uh, you know, <coughs> I am Maritza. I, uh, I, uh, Alex. Yeah, we've had a lot of rain over the weekend, James. It's been one of them like thunderstorm torrential rain type of scenarios here um you know it has it has cooled down a little bit but it, according to the weather forecast it's gonna get back to normal towards the end of the week really hot weather humid weather thank you rocky wolf and i do appreciate it um so yeah, um, we'll we'll just wait and see because the the weather forecast doesn't always get it right. But Pixie, some as I say, it was going to go out on the drone yesterday evening. We saw the black cloud because I had to go back to the doctors yesterday. Uh, yesterday evening, um, just to check on the on the burn on my tummy. So. Uh, we sort of didn't get back from there till about 5.30 and it was going to go out on the drone. But then we saw all these black clouds coming coming overhead. By the time we got home, it was absolutely bucketing it down with rain. So that was sort of a no-go from the start. So... Uh, I mean, he was sort of saying this lunchtime, you know, I hope it brightens up. I hope that wind drops because it's, it's sort of since we came back from Birmingham last Saturday, he hasn't managed to get out on the drone. It's either too hot, too humid or it's been raining. 
and he doesn't like flying it in the wind he's always a bit uh, dubious uh, you know we're taking it up you know in the wind so i mean i can't say as a blame him because they had the experience with the uh with his other drone it just dropped out how did i burn myself well i was making some lemon drizzle for the meetup last saturday and on the thursday i did one lemon drizzle and sort of I, when i was taking it out of the pan I, I, well i spilt some drizzle on me on me i wear jogging bottoms or leggings so the problem with the drizzle it's itself it's very sticky so i thought well i'm not sitting in sticky leggings all afternoon so i changed into my shorts so uh, um i made another lemon drizzle and when you take it straight out of the oven it, you make it in a loaf tin the drizzle is just caster sugar and lemon juice so the thing to get it into the cake is you prod holes in it were like one of these skewers and i got it on a cooling rack and the cooling rack just fell forward onto my tummy i put my knee in here to save it so i sort of it you know i didn't have to make another one but the one on my tummy were a really really bad burn it were like second degree burns as so, hi east dad how are you um so um 8 29 tuesday morning here it's uh 3 1 29 here in the uk but um but yeah the one on my tummy it blistered i went to the to see the nurse she said she sort of it wasn't like what we call a really bad burn like third degree burns it was somewhere in between now the one on the one on my knee that i saved the drizzle with the, the second one um it's just like sunburn it's just like peeling skin now at the moment but i have to keep going back to the doctors to um she well i'll i'll I'll, sh I'll show you the pad thing that she bought gave me but she gave me this yesterday if i can find it i don't know what i've done with it now might be underneath here oh yeah <laughs> sorry about the tilting backwards and forwards but uh I would show it you but i've got a dress on so well the the is a, a special like a, it's like a special burn pad now i've been having to go to the doctors to have it changed because it is a specialist burn pad thing but the the one I, the nurse i went to yesterday was a different nurse to the one that were moaning about me costing the nhs the other day and um basically she gave me one of those she gave me a full pack of like gauze things I, I put them into like a a tin and then she also gave me um like it's like a sterile thing to clean it when i when, you know um so yeah i got all them three without a moan and the, the nurse that i saw yesterday actually said to me is there anything else you want while you're here <laughs> yeah I, the previous nurse was you know moaning about the cost in the nhs so hi liberty bell how are you so yes yeah, so i was due to see that nurse yesterday but she was busy with a uh, with a patient so the other nurse saw me so uh so yeah so it is healing very nicely so I finished my antibiotics because she did give me antibiotics and um, you know I finished the antibiotics now and everything's doing well I ain't got to go back there till next Monday and that's hence why she's gave me the spare dressing and everything so uh, so yes it was an ouch <laughs> it's been very painful I'll tell you that and then I thought I'd got an infection in it so uh but yeah I'm, I'm i'm fine i uh yeah it this one did james it uh basically she sort of compared it to a like a second degree burn the third degree burn being the worst of the worst so it was sort it were quite bad it was quite bad 
Hi, uh, Lloyd. How are you? So, um, but I'd have pro probably kept my joggers on. It probably wouldn't have been as bad, but because I'd got my shorts on, you know, it just fell in, just fell on, onto my stomach. So, uh, but it was, it was quite painful. I mean, we're sort of just over a week now down the line and it, it, it well, when she checked it and everything yesterday, it is, it's healing nicely. So, uh, you know, that, that's sort of the update on the burn and everything. It, it's healing nicely. Probably by the time I go next Monday, hopefully touching wood, it should have healed completely. I mean, obviously it's going to take quite a bit. But same as I say, the, the, the one on my knee, it's just like, it's like a sunburn thing. You know, when your skin starts flaking, when you get sunburned, sort of that's the, uh, you know, the, the one on my knee, just like a sunburn really. So I would just keep putting a little bit of moisturise on it, a bit of antiseptic. So the skin's just flaking off at the moment. So uh, it's all right. I'm trying to get the cushion because I've I've had a little bit of backache this morning. So um, I have sort of tweeted it out. I've put it in the Facebook groups. Uh, I've put it on Google Plus. So obviously people are busy doing other things. So uh, I don't want to uh, sort of send invites out if. Uh, if they're otherwise engaged, so to speak, and doing other things. <coughs> so, uh, so what has everybody been up to? I mean, obviously, uh, Dennis has been uh, has been out this morning. I do know that um, one or two others have said that there was going out and about. Emily did say she was going to work, so. Um, I suppose everybody's sort of either on the way to work or in work or so uh... so yes yeah, so I mean James obviously knows what it what what the burn is like but this one was tummy and it were really really sore so uh, just let me know what you've been up to um I've just been busy doing housework. That's basically all I've been doing. Washing the pots, getting the washing sorted and, you know, stuff like that. You know, boring stuff, really. So we've dropped down to four viewers. Obviously, it's not, uh, it's not all that, uh, hey, cheery giggles, how are you? I uh, decided to do a uh, um, a bit of an impromptu live stream because Mr. Eagle VP did um, did the coffee morning this morning. So, and then I got people messaging me, you know, where are you? Why, you know, why aren't you doing the coffee morning? I says, well, Mr. Eagle VP's uh, um, taking over the helm, so to speak, today. Um, but then about 10 to 12, he had to go uh, to pick the wife up. So uh, I thought, uh, bugger it, I'll, uh, I'll go live. Why not? So it's sovereign between three and four, keeps going to four, three. Yeah. I did notice that um, Tony Sil Silver Retro um was was live but uh and i do i do know that uh the midnight raven is going live at three o'clock so that's hence that's why i uh i did one at this time oh it's 11 p.m there well mr um eagle vp had choppers on this morning so uh Obviously, Mr. Choppers might be in bed or busy doing 
doing other things. Mr. P's gone back to work till four o'clock this afternoon. So he might uh, he might pop in at some point. Well, I mean in the chat at some point. Oh, you should be sleeping, but woke up early this morning. We see here in the UK, it's um, the kids are off school for six weeks, and this is the second the second week of the holidays. So I've been having somewhat of a, a lying, even though I, I sort of I set my alarm clock for when uh, Mr P gets up at six a.m. Um, normally. He'll have a shower or a bath in the evening so he doesn't have to rush and race about when he gets up at 6am. But last night he couldn't be bothered, so um, he had a shower this morning. So, But I got back to sleep, I think it were, hey, got the big red bear in. Um, I went back to sleep roughly about 6.30 and then got woke up by... Um, Uh, uh, it sounded like the cats protecting this territory. Yeah, yeah, they're off. They're off for six weeks. Cheery giggles. So it gives me the. Uh, I mean, obviously, Mister P's big enough and uh, to look after his uh, look after himself in the morning. Plus, he says, obviously, when Callum's getting ready for school, it's a bit bit of a hustle and bustle and. He likes his peace and quiet, does Mr. P. So he likes the peace and quiet in the morning. He can sit and have his coffee. He can sort of, you know, catch up on what's been going on in the land of YouTube, etc. And then he's he's off to out to work at about seven seven a.m. So uh, it sort of gives him that little bit of peace and quiet before he goes to work. Oh, your, your six weeks holidays is in December, are they? Oh. But you see, our kids, I think it, it all depends what day Christmas Day falls on. They always break up like the week before Christmas. So in, in actual fact, sometimes it can have two weeks and sometimes it sort of goes into three weeks. So, um, but, you know, I mean, we always say um, they have more holidays than what they're at school. Well, it seems that way anyway. And mostly our kids never go any longer than six weeks in between. You know, like they'll, they go back in September and then they've got another holiday in October, which they call half term. So, uh, so I'll sort of go back in January after the Christmas holidays. And then um, I think the next one is February. So they don't actually go more than about six weeks until they're off again. But um, our son Callum, he's got an important year next year because it's his exams and everything next year. So... Uh, but then he's on about um, going to college. So it's going to be a, uh, a busy year next year for our son. He is on about going to catering college. So, uh, yes, I'm, I'm rolling a few while I'm sat here sort of talking away to myself at Big Red Bear. It, yeah, I mean, um, it's all right, I'm just, I'm just going to, I think it's only two weeks on Saturday till we go on as holidays. Right, what date are we on?
Yeah, on Saturday, it is only two weeks till we go away. Well, we're actually going down on Friday because we're going to the Isle of Wight. They're all outside sunning themselves. So, yes, on Saturday, um, it's only two weeks till we go away. So, um, so yeah, um, we're going to the Isle of Wight. Um, we've booked a cottage with Wi-Fi and everything. So, uh, I may be doing the coffee mornings from the Isle of Wight. Yes, and the season starts and Sheffield United have announced today that they've signed a, a new player from Liverpool. And don't ask me his name because I don't know. I forgot already. So uh, he is, a, I think, an 18-year-old that is signed from Liverpool. And all I know is he's a striker. I mean, Callum will tell you because he came down and told Chris. But So they've sort of signed a last-minute signing from Liverpool. I don't know whether he's from the youth team or he's from the academy or what it is. What's his name? Callum! 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 Whoa. What's that new signing that Sheffield United have uh, signed? What? What's the new signing that Sheffield United's just signed? Ben Woodburn. Who? Ben Woodburn. Ben Woodburn is his name. From what? From Liverpool? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think he's signed yet. Yeah, uh, I didn't decide till the last minute, Ruby Slippers. Uh, yeah, Ben Woodburn. Um, I didn't decide till after Mr P was going back to work. Um, he's not officially signed yet, but he's having a medical. Oh, he's not officially signed yet, but he's having a medical. So I think you can sort of safely say that he's going to sign. Yes, he is from Wales. I do know that much too. Just turn it sound down a bit, Callum. Yes, he is from Wales originally, but he's, he's from Liverpool, um, the football team they've signed him from. And Ruby, I didn't decide till the last minute, till Pixie was going back to work. I thought, bugger it, I've done all my jobs. I'll uh, I'll go, go live for an hour. So, uh, by all accounts, uh, from what Pixie says, he's a good player, so I don't know. So, I don't know whether anybody else is going to come in. Um, DJ, oh, hello, Carl. How are you? Congratulations on the engagement, and I, I sort of have advertised it in in the group, and I said if anybody wants any information that you know is on about coming to get in touch with me or you yourself for the details. So uh, I take it you're at work then, Carl. I would join, but I kind of feel like I should join. What? I I don't understand that one, Big Red Bear. Same as I say, I don't think uh, I don't think Mr. Eagle VP will be about because he was picking the lady wife up. I've never said you're unwanted, Big Red Bear. Yes, and thank you for saying that. You've involved my, my period education. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. But, um, hi, King George, how are you? I think I uh, added you quite a while ago. I think it was on um, somebody's... Uh, Okay then, Lloyd, I'll see you. 
you see, you see, when you posted that, uh, Carl, um, same as I say, coming from the perspective of somebody that's gone through the menopause, I mean, I'll kindly do it, you know, I mean, just let me know and and message me or whatever and, and I, I'll sort of give you, you know, where is he? And he said he'd got to go and buy a shirt or something, but it did. I, I sort of messaged him and says, do you think I ought to go live? He said he wasn't going to be here till between one thirty and 2 o'clock. So uh, Vicky was on... Um, Eagle VPs, but she got an umdinger of a headache, so I don't think she was feeling too well. So, so if if, if you message me, Carl, just tell me what you want me to say or what or what you want to do, and you know I'll do it for you from the perspective of um, somebody that's gone through the menopause. I mean, probably folks will say, oh, you don't look old enough to have gone through the menopause, but I did go through it, you know. Yes, um, he's, uh, okay then, Carl, that, that would be brilliant. Um, he did upload something yesterday. He's renamed the channel Barry's Views. Now, he's got the, it's, it's the same channel, basically, but he's renamed it and it's called Barry's Views. Okay, then, Carl, I mean, I'm on Messenger, you know, uh, or, um, you know, or wherever you want to message me. My email is on me about page if you wanted to email me. You know, uh, it's just a case of... Uh, you know, telling me what you want to do. do. Do you want me to sort of talk about it from the perspective of somebody that's gone through the menopause? So, uh, so yes, Barry's vlog from the bog is now called Barry's Views. It did do a short, you know, like introduction yesterday. So, um you know, I think he sort of just needed a little time. He just needed to regroup himself. He basically sort of went through a phase where he didn't know where his channel was going. Um, you know, he wasn't getting the views. He's sort of got, got to 647 supporters and then felt like he got stuck in a rut. So... You know, I, I'm sure he'll come back um, bigger and stronger, I think. But uh, Pix is on about going live a bit later on. Well, that's fine. I mean, uh, you know... Uh, <clears throat> so as I say, sometimes the coffee mornings does get a bit hectic. I don't like, you know, tons of people on the on the panel all at one once because I find that, you know, people are like talking over each other and people don't get a chance to speak. Let's say, you know what I mean. But same as I say, I mean, I've I've sort of never said you're not wanted. I've, you know. Um. You know, it's it's the fact that uh, I've 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 not seen you around basically. I mean, that's fine. You know, I mean, you know, uh, you, you know, same as I say. I mean, you're welcome to come on the panel. I mean, if you want to come up now, I'll, I'll send you an invite. But, you know, as you know, I don't like sort of a lot of swearing and, and this, that and the other, you know. So, uh, some as I say. I haven't seen Kate in it. 
let me think she came on the panel yesterday but that was the first time in quite a while she's she's had this cvr i think it's or cvs or something it's chronic vomiting syndrome and she gets an upset tummy and you know she's like basically vomiting all the while so she does go through these parts where she's going through that problem and obviously it's not nice if you're not feeling well so uh so it's a case of uh when she feels up to it let's say and like bella she came on my panel yesterday beauty on a budget a few weeks ago she'd fell and she'd been in that much pain that she had to go back to the doctors and found that the fall, fall had caused her to have a trapped nerve in her shoulder now i know as well as anybody that she was in a lot of pain yesterday okay then it's entirely up to you uh big red bear same as i say uh bella came on yesterday she had to drop out because she was in a lot of lot a lot of pain because same as i say a few weeks ago she'd fell she said she'd put her arms out to stop herself falling and sort of been in pain ever since she ended up giving into it and going to the doctors yesterday he said they thought the fall had caused her to have a trapped nerve in her shoulder but she does also suffer with fibromyalgia so it did sort of kick that off as well so she was in a lot a lot of pain she did come on keith's panel this morning um she did come on keith's panel this morning but you know she did she did look rough you could tell she'd been she was in a lot of pain And then I've then I've been backwards and forwards to the doctors because when I was making lemon drizzle for the meetup last week, I burnt my belly. So when it was a bad burn as well. So uh Hiya Lucy. Yes, it was a last minute decision to go live. <clears throat> so yes, I, I burnt me uh I burnt my tummy making the lemon drizzle last week and it was like it wasn't a third degree burn but it was sort of in between not a bad burn and a really bad burn so i'll sort of let you make your own conclusions as how bad it was um at the moment i've got one of these on which is like a a burn pad thing so she gave me a spare one she gave me some saline solution to wash it out no no i've never seen her since um not since she paid me for but you see i've been going to the um to see the nurse like dressing me burning everything and uh it's been like in the evening so uh um you know uh so chris has been giving me a lift but uh, i'm getting there it's healing up i went to see uh, i went to see uh, her again yesterday and um it's healing quite nicely so so basically you can say i've scarred myself for life through my baking so the things i do for my baking and, and my channel i've scarred myself for life <laughs> and i got a, i got another one on my knee as well but that sort of that's like in the peeling skin stage like a sunburnish type of thing so that was that was like a secondary burn but it never blistered or anything and it's just like um when you're sunburning your, your skin starts peeling that's that's the stage that's in at the moment so i just keep slapping some moisturizer on it and a little bit of antiseptic cream and you know so did lucy want to come on the panel because I'm sat here talking away to myself and Big Red Bear says uh, it, it is going to leave it for a little while. Uh, think, of, think of it as a beauty mark. Not exactly a beauty mark. Uh, cheery giggles. It's same as I say. It'll be all right once it's sealed up. So I can, I, I can say, 
I can safely say I, I bear the scars of uh, of my uh, love of baking. So, uh, but uh, I mean, how many people can say that they've got the still bear the scars of uh, of what they love doing? So, and I have I have printed a few. Uh, yeah, Lucy was on my panel a few days ago. I think it was Friday, if I'm not right. If I, I can't remember. I've been to bed since then. But yes, uh, yeah, he's on his Xbox. Yes. Or 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 we've aptly named him Lakeo slash Junior Eagle. So with everybody's renamed him Lakeo and slash Junior Eagle. So uh I have sent you the link, Lucy. Do you want me to send it here again? So uh so he he has been renamed um Lakeo slash Junior Eagle. So I says, it's all right, Eagle. I says, you can have him till he's 18 then. Uh, junior Eagle, yeah. So, yes. Uh, but he's been okay. You know, he ain't got a, a lot of friends um, sort of locally. I mean, because he has to travel to his school, a lot of his friends don't live in the local area. And, you know... I mean, that's probably going to be it for the six weeks holiday. He's probably going to be stuck up there in his bedroom playing on the Xbox. No, I I, I just typed your name in, in and sent it you via Google Hangouts. Do you want me to email it to you? Because obviously that doesn't seem like it's working. I've sent it twice. So I will um I will send it you again. I send it you via email this time. That tends to work. Um, <laughs> As you know, Big Red Bear, I, I, I only joke about it, you know. I'm Michael Malloy Reid. Uh -huh. Hiya Shannon, thank you for doing the raid on me, it's much appreciated <laughs> Exactly Ruby Slippers, send him the bill for room and board, exactly Thank you Michael, I do appreciate it Hiya Lisa McNamee, thank you for coming in and I do appreciate it, fast and fearless as well uh you're being raided by michael malloy <laughs> l12 fl thank you so uh so i do i do appreciate it i've been raided several times and i do appreciate it for everyone coming in and... are you there <laughs> yes yeah, so everybody's Hitting the like button, I do, I do appreciate it. I'm, I'm being raided. <laughs> right. There's your famous dog again. <laughs> and big red bass going, woo, Lucy. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> She's got two actually big red bear and the big ones. Yes, very big ones. <laughs> um, German Shepherd, if I'm not right, and I forgot the name of the other one. A Czechoslovakian wolf dog. Yes, Czechoslovakian. Really. Yeah, I'm going to say it's, uh, <laughs> it's a mouthful of Czechoslovakian wolf dog. How are you today? Uh, I'm not too bad. Good. Uh, Big Red Bear says time to hide. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's basically what they're there for, uh, Big Red Bear, um, because of unwanted unwanted visitors. Mm. 
I never get any house calls. <laughs> I don't have any friends to knock on my door, so it's all good. <laughs> I've managed to get some washing out today on the line, which has made me happy. Oh, I, I, I did mine yesterday. It decided to rain, so I ended up drying them in the dryer. Yeah. Uh, do you know, I got raided when I was doing a raid myself by Weaves. He ended up joining my raid, so it, <laughs> it gets a bit complicated after that. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, uh, DJ Ian. Uh, I would not, but without the dogs. Well, you'd have to get past the dogs first, um, Big Red Bear. <laughs> you know, I mean, from my perspective, they're doing the job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They also, um, as well as guarding my house, they, uh, they're they kind of therapy dogs as well. So Yeah. Yeah. Um. On more than one occasion, Mowgli has saved my life when I've been having panic attacks. Oh, I, I know panic attacks aren't to uh, no. uh, I have a Jack Russell. Yeah. Little rats, aren't they? <laughs> Whippersnappers, as I call them. Fast and Fearless says, lol, it was terribly funny. I never see, I've never seen it like a double raid. Yes, and I, I like German. I must admit, I do like German Shepherd dogs. Yeah. No, Vicky must have fell back to sleep here, and I think she uh, she got a terrible headache this morning. But I mean, like when I get up with Chris, when you know before they broke up for the holidays, I must admit I get get up some mornings with terrible headaches, and the only solution is to go back to bed. Okay yeah. then. Thank you, Fast and Fearless, and thank you uh, to Michael for the for the raid. <laughs> I do appreciate it. So, um, I want to talk to you, Jeanette. I um, I want your opinion on something. Okay, then. So, I'm not going to mention any names, but you'll you'll know who I'm talking about. Okay, then. So a couple of weeks, must have been a couple of weeks ago now, because I've been on your stream for a while, we were talking about a certain someone. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a lovely girl that I jump on her live sometimes. She actually made me a mod. I don't know why, because I don't oh, know. I, can, I, I, can, I, I think I know who you're talking about. But I just feel like he's, like, manipulating her. Yes, yes. I totally agree, totally agree. And I, I got a bit upset about it last night, and I was like, I'll talk to Jeanette about it tomorrow yeah. in the morning. I mean, if you want to hang back yeah. af after after this is finished, we'll talk more in depth. Yeah, but okay. we we I, I've said to everyone, we're not talking about certain subject. Okay, that's, know, that's all, fine. All, all the other certain subject. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> But I know, I know the two people you're talking about. But this morning I was like, oh, man, I can't because he's not on her life. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't find you anywhere. Yeah, DJ says his dad's got a husky. Well, um, Chris absolutely loves uh, the Malamutes, the husky type of dog. Yeah, we don't talk about idiots. That's fine. Huskies are lovely dogs. Yes. How's Kate? Yeah. I haven't seen her in a while. Same as I say, she goes through these bats of, She's got CV, CVS, which is chronic vomiting syndrome. So she sort of has a good days and she has a bad days. And then she has a really bad days. Yeah. That must be awful. Yes. She she, she goes through spells where she's okay. Yeah. But then the sometimes the bad days outweigh the good ones. But can we talk about clowns though well there's a lot here on youtube to be quite honest i'm scared of clowns <laughs> i don't like clowns <coughs> do i watched the um the new it movie the other day and i was a little bit disappointed because it wasn't even scary i thought it was gonna be i don't like... do scary movies i will i will be honest with you i don't mm -hmm. i i'm 
I'm the sort of person that these sort of things play on my mind and I go to bed thinking about it and then I have nightmares about it. Yeah. You know, I mean, the, not that the movies scare me, but it's like the subject matter and everything. I'm very, uh, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm very sort of, I don't, I don't know how you could describe me. A lot of things, when I, a lot of things play on my mind, if you know what I mean. Do you like apply it? Do you apply the scenarios in the films to like your life? Well, no, it's just the same as I say, it's, it's, you know, I can, if, if I watch something that's really scary, I don't know. It's it it it's it must be a subconscious thing. I don't know. Yeah. But, you know, I can't really explain it. I mean, the the movie itself doesn't bother me, but I think it's something in the back of my subconscious comes to the fore when I go to sleep. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I don't really know how to explain it. I tend to find like if there's something happening to a child in my dreams, that will happen to like Molly, if you see, or like to to the partner in the thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you yeah. see, you see, one thing that I do that I get that's reoccurring is, and I, I I wake up in a panic, not knowing where I am and getting lost. That is one thing that I, this is another sub subconscious thing. I just like to know where I am, where I'm going, and if I'm in, you know, I. I, I can't really explain that either, but it's mm. something that reoccurs. I'm sort of trying to find my way back. Yeah. Um, I watched, well, we tried to watch that new Blade Runner 2049 the other day, and I got lost, so I went to bed. But Mark said it was really good. But, um, yeah, that was that wasn't I mean, a scary movie. That was just weird. Yeah. I, I mean, same as I say, I don't tend to enjoy scary movies if you know what i mean yeah i'm sort of i mean i'm a typical girly girl type of thing um i like the rom-coms i like <laughs> oh. who's that <laughs> <laughs> i wonder who that is how are we guys are you not back home yet then no we're sat looking at these things tonight oh So you're uh, catching, are you catching one or are you waiting for one or? Uh, catch one home now. Uh, it's due sometime in about seven or eight minutes. It's only a seven minute journey home, like. Oh. It's quicker doing the train from Runcorn East to here uh, than it is driving. So. Well, that's it. Is that is that the station where Bella would have got on when yeah, she went? Yeah, this is where Bella got on. Oh. <laughs> Bella's train, to be honest. Because that's going to Birmingham now. Oh, okay, okay. So, so I, I know it's not far from where you live to where Bella lives, and you said you would you would probably get on the train before she did. Yeah, seven minutes from mine to Bella's. So, pretty cool. All right, that Catfish Jones is in as well. They're all coming in, they're all coming in. Yeah, from Kansas. Well, I can't see Big Bear's comments now after they called McLeod, but... uh -huh. <laughs> Thought it'd be nice, you know. <laughs> Kansas. So, how are we, Lucy? It's nice to actually see your face. Oh, I am fine. I'm very happy because I've got some washing out on my life. It's You wouldn't want to get washing out here, though. I'm going to say it's, it's a bit similar to that here. But anyway, Lucy does live in Somerset, so they get the nice weather down there. Well, see, see this, see this building there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, that's what sorted your washing out because that's where Daz and all that comes from. Oh. <laughs> so proud <powder. laughs> uh -huh. That's what I can currently smell at the minute. Is all that. Yeah, but I mean, at least it's a nice smell. At least it's not, you know, sewage works or. Some of the other obnoxious smells that uh, you see round here. Most of the factories are, are still works. Yeah. But there's not even a deal of. I mean, as you know, Sheffield is famous for its steel, but yeah. there's not even many of them about nowadays. That thing gives off a lot of white powder when they're making it. 
um, you see all the cars covered in like it's the soap powder. Well, so it, 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 it could be worse. So if they go through a car wash or it rains, they, you see a lot of cars with all these bubbles bit, bit lying soapy. about them. Yeah, but white <laughs> well, to be quite honest with you, I don't use the powder. I use them capsule things, either Aerial or, or um, what's the other one? Person? Bold. Bold or, <laughs> bold or pers uh, no, Aerial. Because I, I like the ones that have got, the, the three-in-one pod, uh, pods have got like a conditioner, a Febreze or whatever. So I like my clothes smelling nice. Other detergents are available. Yeah, but I, I, have to, I have to be very careful because I've got a sensitive skin. So uh, I just tend to stick with either bold or a aerial, the three in one pods. And then I use a conditioner besides because of my sensitive skin. Do you remember when Shane Ritchie used to knock on people's doors? At, at, what was that advertising? I that can't was remember. Daz, wasn't it? Oh, Daz, yeah. Getting your whites white or something. And you something like, to that effect. I can hand. sort of vaguely remember that. <laughs> that was sort of before it came famous, though, weren't it? If you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm a. I've got. Um, I bought on eBay. It was a box of twenty Japanese sweets. Oh, that'll interest you. And I was gonna. I was gonna film like me trying them, but I. I got it and i've looked at all the packets and i don't know what any of the words say obviously and so i'm really nervous to like try you'd it. have to go to one of these translation pages and sort of get the translation before you eat them yeah i mean Vicky actually showed us a tin this morning she's got the bit bean boozle challenge oh right so emily's done that and she got the puke twice oh. <laughs> that's something i'd never do because you'd see me throwing up live on whatever. <laughs> Jeanette, are you going to be live for much longer? Or yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll hang on while you get back home. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll bugger off for now. Uh, you train to you in a minute anyway. Uh, yeah, well, 14 minutes. It's just said it's due. Uh, yeah, Catfish says he did that and it wasn't fun. It's not my idea of fun either, catfish. So, but what I'll do is um, when I get home, I'm only like a five minute walk from home. Off the yeah. Station, so when I get home, I'm, I'll join the chat again. Yeah, well, you but, should have link anyway, but if you if you want it again, you'll have to let me know. And, uh, I'll, I'll just go through through the link. I'll do it that way. Okay, okay. So, all right, see you in a bit, love. Yeah, I'll see you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. But yes, if that was me, Lucy, I'd be doing a translation of them before I ate them because uh, I don't like surprises, especially when I'm, it's something I'm eating. Yeah, yeah. What's, what's in Kansas? What is what is in Kansas? I know it's like famous because of Dorothy, wasn't it? We're not in yeah. Kansas anymore. We have down here we have a big food factory called oscar mayor and they do a lot of like they make a lot of um you know like microwave meals <coughs> oh yeah the red ready meals yeah so, so our town smells like onions <laughs> most of the time fish has put lots of nothing <laughs> <laughs> i mean same as i say where i live in south yorkshire uh sheffield it's uh, it's famous for its stainless steel, but even that is going sort of down the pan. There's not many about. And the ones that are left are mostly um, owned by Chinese or Japanese or one or, one or other. It says, dead centre of the state's wheat farms. Okay. So it sounds quite rural. Mm, yeah. Do you make proper Yorkshire puddings? No. <laughs> I will admit that is one thing that is one thing that eludes me. I've tried. My mum used to make perfect Yorkshire puddings. 
and I've tried over the years, they either go flat as a pancake or they never rise. <laughs> you know, so that, uh, I mean, I did like a question and answer a few months back and somebody asked me about Yorkshire puddings and I said, well, I'll admit I buy frozen. That oh, is Bessie's. Yeah, that is the only way I can get a per perfect Yorkshire pudding. That is one thing that has eluded me over the years, getting the perfect Yorkshire pudding. Oh, that's a shame. You know, I can do anything else, but that's one thing that over the years has eluded me, the perfect Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> is there anything that else that you can't make? or? Um, no, not really. Not really. You any good? No, I, 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 I'm sort of person. I'll put my hand to anything. You know, I, I do a mean spag ball. I do do. I do do. You know, like I've made lasagna. I've made spag ball. Absolutely love it. Is it hard to make? What Yorkshire puddings? They're not actually hard to make. It's just getting the right. You know, you have to get them to rise. But man. Man, are more like a flat Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm. Man's more like a pancake, not a, a Yorkshire pudding. You have to get the oil really, really hot, don't you? So yes. Yes. I don't think you should. You should be around. No. Right now. <laughs> One funny thing is, I did make another lemon drizzle over the weekend. Yeah. Uh, I made it. I got it out of the oven. I says, right. You know, here's the, here's the time when you've got to be really, really careful. So Chris came in and he says, I says, what are you doing? He says, I'm just making sure you don't drop it again. <laughs> so I did make another lemon drizzle over the weekend with that incident. Have you ever but, seen that um, Friends episode where it's like they, they order loads of cheesecakes or something and they l really like these cheesecakes and they drop it on the floor so they... They get the fork and like eat the stuff that's not directed on the floor. <laughs> well, and, you like, see, that's how I got the one on my knee because it fell on my tummy. Yeah. So I didn't have to make another one. I sort of put my knee up in here to save it from dropping on the floor. And that's how I got one on the knee. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so. Okay, then. Thank you for coming in, Catfish Jones. I do appreciate you coming in and before work. So, uh, but yeah, same as I say, I mean, as um, I did make a sticky toffee pudding for a Sunday lunch dessert, but I'd already done that on on me. It's all right, I'm just reading a um, a thing from Bella. Um, she was going to do the live stream on Saturday, but she says. Unfortunately, the pain is that bad that she's got to cancel it. Oh, dear. Oh. So, Bella is, but she did say she was going to do a short video explaining to everybody why she's got to cancel. She's just messaged me and said, but she was, she did look rough this morning on Keith's uh, mm. live stream. But I did say to her, I mean, she messaged me yesterday. Yeah. And, um, Basically, what it was, she fell a few weeks ago and she put her hands out to save herself. And ever since then, she's been having a lot of pain in her shoulder. Yeah. Um, and she, she sort of gave into it yesterday, I think, and went to the doctors. And he says, because she, she saved herself with her hands, it's caused her to have a trapped nerve in her shoulder. Yeah, yeah. But she did say that, Basically, she suffers with fibromyalgia. Oh, okay. So it's like flared that up as well. So she is in a lot, a lot of pain. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. When we get older, we try and save ourselves. Whereas if Molly, like, falls down now, she doesn't, like, brace herself so she doesn't hurt herself as much. So... Um, says basically, she says... Yeah, when you get pain older... Pain is that bad, it's causing her to keep crying and whatever she's not herself oh. it's, it's this morning that she wasn't herself not a bubbly self anyway so and i did say to her yesterday don't worry about you know coming on to my coffee mornings etc etc your health is more important than sort of sitting there with a smile on your face 
when you can clearly see that you're in a lot of pain. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, it, getting yourself better is, is more important than anything else. Yeah, well, even if she was to come on your lives and she was sort of having a down day, that's sort of what the coffee mornings are all about. We're all, you know, supposed to, like, support each other. So. Yeah, the same as I said. I mean, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean... And I've said this to to everybody, you know, a person's health is more important than coming and sitting on a live stream. Yeah. In excruciating pain and not wanting to be there, if you yeah, know what if, I mean. Yeah, if she wanted to be there and was, like, having a down day, then that's okay as well. You see what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. We're all inclusive. Yeah. Well, you see as well, I mean, like, um, uh, Adam Bossman, he does suffer with bipolar and you know he's he's had a bad few days as well and it, it sort of we've not seen anything of him since friday or thursday i think it was mm. and he messaged me sunday evening and he says i'll be on you know send me an invite for the coffee morning on monday morning yeah you know he says uh everything to do with YouTube had been taking a break, like not been watching, not been uploading anything, blah, blah, blah. Mm. You know, he says, but he says, if you send me the invite, I'll come on for it, you know, and I says, well, look, if you need to drop out, just say so. Nobody will be offended. Nobody will think any less of you because it is tough to go through, you know, and the same as you say, you suffer from panic attacks, you suffer from anxiety, and it's only putting pressure on people that are going yeah. through that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I, I, I mean, I haven't touched wood, suffered from a panic attack in quite a while, but I do know that what people are going through that have panic attacks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see, my the last one I had was a really, really bad one, and I thought I was having a heart attack. It got that bad. Really? Yeah, it got to the point where I thought I was having an heart attack. But, you know, same as I say, I mean, it's 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 not worth sort of, I mean, myself included, if I'm sort of, yeah, I mean, like I've, I've got up this morning, my back's aching a little bit. But I do take regular painkillers, so it's like I try to control it. Mm -hmm. But then then you get some mornings where the pain or, or you know, is, is, is exceptional and you just don't feel like doing anything. Yeah, and, and you know, I totally get that, and I'd I'd say, well, you know, if I get nobody on, I'd sooner a person be well than sit there, you know, either anxious or in pain or whatever. To me, health is more important. Mhm. Mm yeah, definitely. So I can try to have a look. What Callum's uh, put put the lemonade somewhere, and I don't know what he's done. Oh, it's right over there. <laughs> I love lemonade. Oh, yeah. We see, I've, I have the diet one because if I have too much of a sugary drink, I get, like, feel faint and things like that. So I always get the diet anyway. Yeah. But I find that lemonade is quite refreshing when you be being warm and everything. Do you like um, lime and soda? I don't, no. to be quite honest with you. I find that's more refreshing than lemonade but oh funny thing is bella was drinking lime and soda when we went to the birmingham she were on lime and soda yeah but i did i did i sort of i did let myself go a little bit i had two halves of lager <gasps> <laughs> I, don't, I don't drink very often i don't drink in half and i don't drink very often but i thought what the heck we're in birmingham we're staying in a hotel sod it i'm having two halves of lager so i did <laughs> any more than that and i've been pie eyed and i've been anybody's <laughs> <laughs> i have to admit we've sort of partaken in a in a can or two well i drink peroni i don't drink anything else in the larger line but we've sort of been drinking more when it's been hot because it's like the only cold thing in the house sort of thing so well you see how uh, 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 um pixie likes fosters you know, it, 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 if they ain't got Foster's, he'll, it's either Carlsberg or Carling or, you know, he'll drink anything that's wet, basically, picks it will. But his preferred lager is Foster's. Yeah. Hi, Soul Rhythm, how are you? Hello. 
but uh, but yeah, he, now he's he's. It's like he he, he can't drink during the week because he drives uh, a works van, obviously. Yeah. And that's one thing you're not doing. We're not, you know, um, you not have a drink and drive. So basically, now he's finished working on the Saturdays. Um, it Friday and Saturday, he'll he'll have a few cans. You see. Yeah. So, uh, hello, Soul Rhythm, how are you? And welcome to the live stream. <clears throat> where in the world are you, Soul Rhythm? Yes, we're, it's all right, I'm just trying to get the lemonade. <laughs> you need Without to sort of... Picker things. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm just pouring myself a, a glass of lemonade out because I'm quite thirsty. So where are you from then, Soul Rhythm? Uh, we're just finding out where people are from. Uh, me and Lucy are both from the UK. Um, so to, I'm Central England and Lucy's from down south. Down south. Down south. <laughs> She's not originally from Somerset. She's originally from Bristol. Yeah, you must have to write these down because I wouldn't remember all of them. Oh yeah, I, I do remember. <laughs> where, I do remember where people are from. It's just you know certain things that I, I, I go to bed and then I forgot next morning. So what what um what videos are you are you planning? What, what videos I, same as I say, um, I was planning on doing a vlog at the weekend, and then I decided to make the lemon drizzle, and then I, I got up Sunday morning. And I says, do you know I fancy making sticky toffee pudding for Sunday lunch? So sort of that was Saturday and Sunday, so I didn't really get a chance to do a vlog, but I will be probably doing one towards the weekend sometime. Well, yeah. well, actually. Um, the season football season starts at Saturday, so uh, oh, does it? Yeah. <laughs> so they are actually the the first matches at home, so they'll probably be going to the football um Saturday afternoon. So I might have to do a vlog on Sunday. But I thought about the um, what were the one? Um, the one with the rice krispies and the Mars bars. Oh yeah, I sort of contemplated. I quite. Oops. Oh, where have you gone? <laughs> <laughs> Cameras fell down. Um, I quite fancy doing that one actually. The chocolate brownie meringue cake. Yeah. Raspberry cream. So um, so I quite fancy doing that one, and I think the other one, uh, yeah, oh. the chocolate, the chocolate crispy cakes. Yeah. It's just it's just basically melting Mars bars, um, adding the rice krispies to the Mars bars, and then you just dri drizzle chocolate over the top of them, and put everything in the fridge to set. Oh, no cooking lovely. anymore. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh bless! This is my baby. This is my ugly <laughs> bear. <laughs> but the, that's the the wolf and the wolf dog yeah, yeah 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 i've had him since he was a little puppy oh yeah we got toby when he was six months old so he was a little bit bigger when we got him so uh but mowgli's my little baby <laughs> the okay. only one of our, our three cats that we had from being a kitten was benny and he's the oldest the other two were rescue cats yeah, uh, we the, Lucy the girl cat we rescued her from the RSPCA. <laughs> she says, "Well, I won't. I won't be cooking with mothballs, uh, Ruby. I did say Mars bars. So I'm basically, that that that's the recipe, and yeah. it's basically um, four ingredients really, five. Five, well, it says five caramel nugget chocolate bars, such as Mars bars, chopped, five ounces of butter, 
three and a half ounces of rice krispies and three ounces of plain chocolate but the plain chocolate is just to drizzle over the top once it's so basically it's easy peasy lemon squeezy you melt the mars bars and then you add the well i think it's the mars bars and the butter together add it add the rice krispies and put it in a cake tin let it set and then you drizzle like uh, melted dark chocolate on <laughs> thought mothballs was a nickname for marshmallows no <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> oh dear mothballs is what we used to prevent getting moth biting big holes in your clothes <laughs> do you watch carnation street Yes, I do. There was moths in Carnation Street. Yeah, there. yeah, because he'd been and bought this vintage jacket or something, hadn't he? Yeah, he's putting the clothes in the freezer. And basically, <laughs> she took uh, he took it into the factory, not realizing that there were uh, and and cakes there were swatting all these moths. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, you know, it is dangerous because. You know what with the fabric and everything so yeah yeah uh, i always try and vlog but then i just I, when i look back at like what i vlog so i just think no one's going to be interested in that it's just yeah, like I mean, I mean it's, it's it's like it's what you're interested in isn't it? i mean like beauty products i mean it's like bella you know what I mean? I mean, she's into beauty products and, um, you know, and I mean, when I first started YouTube, I just used to do like daily vlogs. Yeah. But then I sat there and I thought, well, you know what? Um, my life's not all that interesting, really, to be able to sit down. So this particular day, I'd... Um, I'd made some scones that were it. I'd made scones. And I sort of sat there and I said, oh, I've, today I've been making scones and I've shown everybody the scones that I'd made. I sort of somebody suggested, oh, have you ever thought of, you know, vlogging what you make? So that's how the bakery side started of it because I love to bake. Yeah. Yeah. So, so that's sort of... That's how the um, the baking side of of my channel came about. Because somebody says, oh, did you vlog it? And I says, well, no, I never really thought about it. I just made these scones and I thought I'd share with everybody what I'd been doing that particular yeah. day, which were baking. Hmm. Yeah. And, and one of the very first vlogs was Victoria Sponge. I mean, how uh, more British can you get than a Victoria Sponge? Well, I don't, I don't think you can. So, uh, so that sort of that's with the start of it, and I've done all sorts. I've done cookies, I've done cheesecakes, um, a lemon flan and a chocolate crunch flan, and you, you know, I've done quite a varied, you know. But the the, the sticky toffee pudding is is a fav, well, one of Chris and Callum's favourites. Hmm. And it's not really all that. Uh, I did send you an invite, Crimson, but if you're going to work, it doesn't matter. So, I mean, um, you know, I, I I got requested uh, key lime pie. I did that. Somebody requested the red velvet cake. I did that. It, you know, I don't mind people coming to me and saying, well, have you ever tried making this or have you ever tried making that? It's like a, a new challenge for you, isn't it, really, if you haven't done it before? Well, this is it. And same as I say, I mean, a lot of the recipes that I've printed off, I've never used. But it's sort of, it's something that, like I can go back to if, I, if I'm sort of stuck for ideas. You know, I can go back and think, oh, I'll make this. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I was looking through them the other day and it's like, it's like a chocolate cake that you make in the loaf tin. But you like drizzle um, melted chocolate over it. It's basically a chocolate loaf, really. Mm. And then, you know, like decorations on top. 
and it's like I, I, I got that out and I looked and I thought, oh, I might, I might make that on the maybe list, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I have these lists, you know, I look through them and then I, I'll put that one aside. I might make that. I don't know. Every time you say drizzle chocolate, I just have Homer Simpson. Uh, going, but you see, like, like, like for Halloween last year, I did, um, it was on the Tesco website, um, not so scary, something or other, but it basically custard inside it and you coloured it green. Mm. And then it were like a chocolate, like Oreo base. Yeah. Put the custard in it and then you melt chocolate, you, you know, you, you pour it in the fridge for so long to let the custard and everything settle. And then you, you, you melt chocolate, put that on top, wait, put that in the fridge and let that set. Or, well, not till it's set, set. But then you like do a uh, round circles of white chocolate and then get a, um, like a cocktail stick and make like a web. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. And it, it does actually tell you how to make like a chocolate spider for the middle, but I improvised because I'd already got like a one of these plastic spiders. Yeah. So I just plonked that in the middle. <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, I didn't think about making a Christmas cake at Christmas, but I knew it wouldn't get eaten because none of us are fond of fruit cake, if yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah. So, but I did think of making a Christmas cake and then either sort of, you know, giving it to his parents or his sisters or, you know. They're hard work, though, because you've got to keep feeding them, haven't you? So Yeah, yeah. Plus, uh, it's got alcohol in it as, as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you see, even at Christmas, we don't have Christmas pudding either because we're not a fruit kind of family, if you know what I mean. None yeah. of us is, like, fussed about, like, the traditional Christmas pud. Yeah. You know, so I tend to have like a chocolate sponge or something something like that. Hmm. It was the Victorians that um, changed the mince pie into fruit, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I, I make mince pies and I, I make uh, what we, I don't know if you've heard of, a maids of honour. No. They're like a pastry tartlet, jam, and then you put sponge on them. They oh, what oh, we call nice. mince of honour, yeah. That sounds nice. And gingerbread men. I make gingerbread oh, men. Yeah. So, and I'll I, I tell you what else I made at Christmas, but I made them as a present because uh, a friend of ours had invited us over um, sort of the weekend before Christmas Eve. So I made her some fudge, actually. Oh, I like fudge. I but like I, didn't, fudge. I didn't vlog that one, but it were like, um, you know, the hundreds and thousands that you put on top of the... Uh, trifles and whatever yeah yeah it were you made the fudge mixture and then you added these hundreds and thousands into the fudge it will it were lovely mm, but i made them butter because she did like a uh like a buffy style thing you know yeah i took the fudge and you know a few nibbles and whatever um so uh so yeah so um i made that sort of as a sort of side thing you know if anybody were interested yeah, I like fudge, fudge toppy caramel. I love that sort of uh, sort of thing. That's my bag. I'm not. Uh, really but yeah, food. I mean, that's same as I say, throughout, you know, I I do like to try my hand at different things. You know what I mean? Mm, I mean, the, yeah. the red velvet cake were a bit of a, a bit of a. What's it? I made the first one, and come out as flat as a pancake. Oh, <laughs> so, so I scrapped that one that went by the wayside, and then at the, the red velvet cake that I did, um, that was off the Tesco website as well. I've got some quite good, uh, quite good recipes on there. Tesco yeah. real food. Oh, so I, I did, uh, I did that not so long back, plus the bakewell tray bake as well. Yeah. Somebody had asked me to do a bakewell bakewell tart or bakewell tray bake. Um apple fragipan. Frangipan. Frangipan, fragipan. <laughs> I, I don't know how you pronounce it. I did that anyway as well. 
but that yeah. is quite almondy as well. That one, nice. Yeah. Marzipan. I don't like marzipan. No, I don't like marzipan either. No. And to tell you what else I don't like on that, this is why we don't buy Chris. I don't like icing as well. You don't like icing. No. I love icing. You know that, is it royal icing that they put on the birthday cake? Yeah, yeah, well, same as I say, um, <laughs> I sort of can just about manage the soft icing. It's the crunchy icing type of icing. It, it's way too sweet for me. Yeah. It's yeah. way too sweet. Oh, all this talk of cakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to lose weight. I've got to be a living bridesmaid next April, so I'm trying to lose weight. But um, it's not going too well at the moment. <laughs> I am um, on a from Sunday to Tuesday. I go and see um a, a, one of my friends' mums. She's sort of she's got Alzheimer's, um, and so I go and sit with her for an hour. Um, from like eight till nine at night. That's how I knew about Carnation Street because otherwise I wouldn't watch. It. <laughs> but she um she buys like Fox's biscuits and they're like about that thick of cookie, like chocolate chip cookie, and then they're covered in chocolate as well. And I stupidly said the other day, oh, I really like this biscuit. So every single night she seems to like magic a new packet. <laughs> Oh, and Ruby so, says she doesn't like red velvet. So I, oh, okay. Red velvet's lovely. So we sit there and I'll have one and she'll have one and she'll go, oh, you might as well just finish the packet off. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I, I'll go tonight and we'll watch Holby City together. Um, But uh, I'm sure she'll have a new packet for me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear! Yeah. So obviously you watched it last night, where uh, that um, Luke got is his name Luke. Yeah, he yeah. got his come up and it's cost the guy that he was with beat him to a pulp, didn't he? Yeah, but they're gonna try and pin <laughs> the vicar. I think. I don't know. I think the vicar is gonna be in a bit of trouble. Well, basically, all he did was warn this guy. I mean, I mean, obviously, I don't know. Whether they know it's this guy, but it's it. The, the the police did say that the guy had found GBH on him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so basically, I mean, uh, I don't know whether they've got the guy or or what, but I, you know. Yeah, but I must have missed something because the last time I watched it, David was in prison. So, but now he's out. Well, it basically, I mean, uh, they sort of, when it did come to court, I mean, it, it, they claimed extenuating circumstances. Oh, uh, okay. And Gary wouldn't testify against him. Oh, uh, okay. So, <laughs> uh, I say only watch it like once a week, so... <laughs> I used to watch them all the time, but then I just found like the um, storylines get a bit boring. Well, it's like when you've seen one, you know, like Emmerdale and EastEnders, they all tend to do at some point or other the same story as what one of the others have done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know what I'm going to do now. My, my love island's finished. Oh, go on, Benny. <laughs> That is one thing that I've never ever watched, and I do know it worked final last night, and the favourites won it. And do, do they get a choice whether they keep the fifty thousand or they split it or whatever? I don't know. I don't really know how it works. Yeah, they can split it between them, um, but then I, I don't know what happens. I didn't, didn't, uh, I haven't caught up with last night yet. So, well, it, it it's basically like last year's winners. They stayed together a little while till after dust has settled and then they split up yeah hi harmony he's back i'm back i'm home it's all right lucy we're just boring as we love island <laughs> <laughs> it's 
it's all right. Sophie watches it. As well. Oh dear. Well, see, that's another thing. Everyone's like, oh, it's just you know people walking around in their bikinis. But I like to eat ice cream whilst watching people. <laughs> <in their bikinis. laughs> I mean, wait, wait, were it Danny Dyer's daughter or or yeah. son that were on there? They were going to win from the beginning because of who she is. Well, she was lovely. She was uh, no. lovely. She she looked like she'd been hit by a shovel. Um, well, I, I I tell you something. I mean, I, I watched Good Morning Britain, and uh, Piers Morgan were taking the Michael because this blonde-haired girl was saying, "Oh, he's such an is your city uh, a country or summer? I don't know. Nobody's that thick." Yeah, it's, uh, there's there's a few people that are on there which are pretty thick, though, do you know. Yeah, and, you know, and, I, and I'm sort of. Why would somebody say that? I, you know, I mean, I'm not a brain box, but I know, you know, what I mean, nobody can honestly be that fake. Well, <laughs> you would. Uh, I'm not going to name any names, but like asking with Santa Pons and uh, Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't, I can't believe that. I will piss myself. Excuse me. I would. I would. I was killing me son with laugh, laughter at that. It's all right, we're talking about Bella. <laughs> I mean... Uh, Hi, Ian Harmony. Put, Ian uh, put something about Santa Ponza, and of course I know Santa Ponza's in Spain. <laughs> so, Bella Port, is that, is that near Birmingham? <laughs> Close-ish. It's a bit closer than I am, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> So, is Harmony just popped in as you'll see? Yeah, Harmony. I tune in now and then to the... Um... Yeah, um, I, I, did you hear when I said I got a message from Bella? No, 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 what's happened? Is Bella okay? She's, uh, she's not going to do the live stream now on Saturday. Okay, is she okay? She's not no, She's not very clever, actually. Because I know she was poorly the other day, wasn't she? Yeah, she's poor. I, I'll read it out to you. I'm sure she won't mind me read it. I'm so sorry, but I'm going to have to cancel Saturday. I will make a short video explaining why. I really hate to let anyone down, but I feel like crap. When I get this kind of flare up, I just have to ride it. If I push it, I, I'm flawed for ages. And then she swears I hate being like this. I'm a little chatterbox and so excited about Saturday, but I know I won't make it. I get really bad brain fog and look completely dumb, more so than usual, in their own words. And because I've hurt my shoulder, I can't type. I keep crying because I'm so happy to have you guys, but I'm just a mess. I want my first live stream to be fun, and fun is, is just not now I'm, how I'm feeling. It will pass as it always does, but I can't say when. I have a lot of videos already made, so that's okay. And I will do my best to come on for the coffee morning, even if it's only for a while. Big hugs, Bella. But I did, I did when she messaged me yesterday and she said she went very well. I says, look, it don't matter, Bella. Your health is more important than anything else. Yep. You get, you get yourself better, and come back, you know, fit and well. I mean, that's more important to me than. So yeah. sitting there being in ab agony. And I'd yeah. say it to every everyone. I legendary YouTuber, you know, I'd sooner some a person be well than sit there in total agony. You know. Rather, you know, rather than coming on for the sake of things. Um, you know, I'd I'd, I'd sooner be well and, and feel well. Yeah. Than, uh, She's lovely as well, Bella, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. I knew she was. She didn't see herself this morning when I, I said to her, she, "Is she okay?" She seemed a bit yeah on and off. Same as I say, she 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 messaged me yesterday and said, she, you know, she didn't feel too good, and I think she gave in to it yesterday and actually went to the doctors, and that's when he said, as a result of the fall, that she trapped a nerve in her shoulder as well. She's not good, man. She needs to. Take no, she care. she didn't look well at all this morning, and. You know, I, I said as much, she, she didn't look well. So, so what did you buy then while you was out? Two seconds, I'll get it for you, Jeanette. <laughs> it's 
got his little shorts on. Uh, I've got my shorts We on. wear short shorts. I always wear my shorts and vest tops. We don't have a vest <laughs> Savage wife beater. Yeah, well, to be honest with you, Jeanette, you can pick which one you want me to wear for your love, but I've got myself a new shirt. Oh my God, oh, I need my sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> And then I've got another new shirt. Don't like that one too much. I like the red one better. The red one. But well, I'll wear the red one for you next time we have cookies <laughs> together. I've got I've actually got a blouse like that one. And I'm not oh, yeah, too I'm not uh, too stuck on that one. <laughs> the, 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 the for Spain uh, for when I'm DJing over there. They're a bit they're loose and light and stuff. Yeah. So it's uh put them on uh while I'm over there really. To be honest, I mean, the blouse I've got it's not like a it's like a like a chiffon y nylon y that's, that's like, but I, 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 I'm, I'm not a blouse wearer, I'm, I'm more your leggings and t shirt, or you know what I mean? Yeah, it's uh, that's just because it's both of them are dead light. So when I'm over there, it's gonna be well, I've just been looking at the news, it says this heat wave's coming back here again. On average, it's about 32 degrees in Ponza next week. Yeah, I'm going to say it did say by Friday the the warm weather was going to return to the UK. So I'm expecting it to be about 35, 36 over there. Yeah. So I and I, I, here's me wondering, here's me thinking that it was three weeks on Saturday till we're going, it, isn't it? it's only two. Yeah, I was going to say it's a week today that I'll go well, this time next week, that I'll be pretty much packing all my stuff ready to go to the airport. So, to start. But I, same as I say, I didn't realise till I went on, on my uh, calendar on my phone and I went, it didn't actually two at uh, three weeks, it's two weeks on Saturday. Yes. I mean, so to this time normally, I'm ironing like a frenzy, you know, doing my ironing and everything ready for the holidays, but I ain't done sod all. You know what? Lucky enough, Sophie, what day we're now? We're on Sunday. Well, Sunday I was working on it, so we're on Tuesday now. So Sunday night, Sophie stayed in, and she did all the washing for the holiday stuff, um, all the clothes to go over, because we're taking more clothes over. Instead of taking it all over in March, we're taking stuff over yeah. now as well. Um, so she's gone through all the clothes. She's done absolutely everything. Uh, so she's been doing a lot, but I've been ironing away at times. <laughs> 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 Hi, oh. White Rose Vlogs. It says I've not been able to catch one because I do tend to do a coffee morning in the mornings, but Mr. Eagle VP did one this morning and uh, basically, so I thought Chris went back to work at one o'clock, so I thought, sod it. Well, you know, we've, we prefer Mrs. P's coffee morning. Ooh, yeah. bitchy. <laughs> uh, um, Ian, Ian knows... What you were talking about before, Lucy. So if you want oh, okay. to stay behind as yeah. well, Ian. Yeah, we, we we definitely know what we're uh, all on about there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did I did look at my YouTube this morning, <laughs> panicked a bit because I couldn't see the, the coffee morning and I was like, Oh what, 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 what? so then I had to try and find Eagle and and I'm subscribed to him now. Because uh, I thought, oh, I bet he's hosting it this morning. Well, it was one of them cases where um, I, uh, normally I'd not be up at 8.30 because with the holidays and everything, I'd tend to get up at 9 o'clock. But sounds like the uh, cats were having a bit of a fracas this morning at 8.30. Uh, so I got up and I thought, sod it, I'm going in bath. I come down here and then I'm getting like an hangouts call from Keith. I hadn't took my tablets or anything. <laughs> and I says I'll be there in a minute you know uh, oh that right it says um, something about uh, it's alright if I host the coffee morning this morning I thought well I, I can't really say no can I no you know what I mean I, I mean I could have done but I didn't want to if you know what I mean uh, you know you know me I don't like to cause friction or anything I says it's up to you yeah but, I don't think uh, YouTube likes pill popping so Take your pills before. No, I did. I did. <laughs> I, you know, I were. And I, I said to Keith, I says, you got me all of it is because you were ringing me. I was trying to, because I, I take seven and then I take three like me. Um, 
Um, you take a lot, don't you, do Oh, I take 10 up, ten up all at once. Yeah. But, and I'm thinking, I've only got six. I've got one missing somewhere. And, of course, phones going on like that. And I'm thinking, I'm, I'm trying to take my tablets, Keith. <laughs> So when 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 he sort of when I picked the hang arts thing up, I says, "You got me all of a kafuddle." I says, "Cause I was trying to take my tablets. There were one missing, so you'd put me off my stride, sort of thing." Oh gosh! But but you see, you see, when I make my coffee and I have my breakfast, I like to take my tablets, so I know I've took them. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, keeps you it keeps you sane, doesn't it? Well, it keeps me alive. <laughs> so, so like, like about saying that it keeps me alive. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> well, I, I've got a blood pressure one. In fact, I've got two blood pressure, a water tablet. I take a um, cholesterol one, even though I don't really need it. I take two thyroxine, two two different strengths. Uh, what else do I take? Oh, an antihistamine, and then I take uh, a vitamin because I, I I suffer with um, uh, vitamin V deficiency. So I take one of them. I take an uh, I take a, a multivitamin, and then I'll take a lansoprazol, which is like to stop. Yeah, and acid acid thing. Reflux. Yeah, acid reflux. So they the ten I take up in in the morning. She takes tablets just to put up with Chris. <laughs> <laughs> well, funnily enough, I mean, I, I, that's what I take in the morning. That's my bag with all my tablets in. Christ. So, you take a few, don't you, isn't it? Just a few. Just a few. And then that's not including my pain, pain uh, medication. And then I have to take one of them after I've had something to eat, which is like a... Because of the weight loss surgery, it's like a multivitamin with iron and everything basically that my body needs. So, what weight loss surgery did you have? You I had the sleeve gastrectomy. All right, Lucy. If you see actually a before and after picture, Jeanette, Jeanette's looking a million dollars, aren't you, baby? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll just get one. I'm, I'm going off camera again. Sorry about this. <laughs> And, I, I've, I've and I'm, I'm in desperate need of it, uh, cutting my hair doing before I go away, so I might get that booked in. I need mine doing as well, Jeanette, my hair cut. I know. It's, you know, oh, to get along. This is, this is a thing and all. <laughs> Chris says to me today, he says, I'll cut his at the weekend. Now, nah, I'll just cut his with clippers. Yeah, sure. So he says, oh, folks, has been commenting that you've missed a bit on top and there's a few straggly bits. I says, well, you know what to do. Clippers is over there. <laughs> Straight you on. Know, I, I've saved you a fortune in air cuts over the years. <laughs> right, are you ready, Lucy? Oh, I'm ready. This that that were me. No. That were me before the weight loss surgery. That's my sister and that's my mum that passed away. Lemonade. That was, took about two, three years ago. Just just before my weight loss surgery. How well, how heavy were you? I was 34 stone. I've lost 10 stone. Wow. So I've seen you. I've not seen that one before. Jeanette. I've seen the one where you sat down. I think you had a party or something, and Chris is next to you. Yeah, well, that was, I think, at the same party. But that is the only picture I've got of me, my sister, and my mum all together. Yeah, for it. Yeah. So that, that was me, sort of like nearly three years ago. Okay. She's done well, huh, Jeanette. She's done yeah. very well. Yeah. But you see, well. you see I, couldn't, I couldn't have the full bypass because 20-odd um, years ago, I had my gallbladder out, but this was before keel surgery, so I've got a big scar on my tummy. Yeah. So I couldn't have the full... Um, I couldn't have the full bypass, but I'm glad um, I had the gas sleeve gastrectomy now because... Um, there were a lot of scar tissue, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Scar. So basically what they do is they take three quarters of your stomach away. Right. 
I can more or less eat what I want. Well, sort of. Yeah. Um, but obviously, the capacity of your stomach is less. Yeah, it looks more. That. Right. Down. Anyway, so basically, they call it a sleeve gastrectomy because they do it keto, like they do like the bypass, and um, basically, they take three quarters of the stomach away and leave you with like a banana shape. Yeah. So basically, even if I wanted to overeat, I couldn't, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Because the capacity of your stomach is drastically <coughs> small. You know, yeah. And you've done very, very well, though, Jeanette, you have. Mm, yeah. So I'm, very, very well. Yes, I'm, I'm sort of... Um, I'm about 26 now, so I, I sort of lose a bit, and then I, obviously I put a little bit back on. I did put quite a bit on when I <laughs> died, because I, I like comfort it, if you know what I mean. Yeah. It's understandable with everything that you've gone through. So, um, you know, when same as I say, I, I ate all the wrong stuff, you know, I, 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 I sort of tended to eat crisps and things like that. And, you know, I, I, I sort of did sort of let myself down a little bit because I were going, you know, but, you know, I, I, uh, I, I try to eat healthily. Funny thing is, funny thing is, um, after I had my weight loss surgery, uh, Chris was 16 and a half stone and is now 13. Yeah. So he's lost about three and a half stone. And even Callum lost about a stone and a half. Yeah. Well, I lost a load of weight when I split up with idiots. Uh, I think I've been putting it back on recently, though, to be honest. Uh I don't really know. I lost about three stone, didn't I, Jeanette? Yeah, I think you said about three, three and a half stone. Yeah, I but, like um, but yes, Chris has put a post on um, Facebook. Okay. <laughs> Is that a ominous? No, he put a post on Facebook and he says, who wants me to go live tonight? Oh, oh, right. Okay, let's let's get on to Chris. Get <laughs> I've on to commented, and Emily's commented. Let let let's let's harass Chris. <laughs> it was while he was here for lunch. Right, Chris, Chris, Chris. Right. I can't see it. Last one is seen that he's put up his he's bought his dinner. Well, he, he has. I'll I'll show it you if I can find it. But yes, he has put a post up. He says, who wants me to go live tonight? I don't know whether... I think it is in the group, but I don't know whether it's on his page or... But I know I commented. I'll send him a message. Boss man did post a um, upload a video... Of him and Emily, I believe, singing earlier. I uh, I don't know whether anybody noticed the. Um, I put one up, and I seen this. T it, it were it were on like Facebook itself, and it says, um, it were, it were about a t shirt that I'd I'd saw. No, I haven't seen that one. That's all right, I'm trying to find it. I've messaged him saying, Young Chris, go live, go live, go live. Uh, <laughs> so you'll see that. I, that I, did, I did post one or two, and one of them was, I don't care what people say about me. I know who I am, and I don't have to prove anything to anyone. That's one that I posted. I'm trying to find it. It, it. it was basically a T-shirt, and it says something about September girls. It says, um, uh, well, I don't know. I can't remember now. I can't remember <laughs> exact. exact uh... It 
Have you got a slow cooker, Jeanette? Yes. Do you use it? Yes, quite a, quite a bit. I like the I like the um, um I have, I have I like a slow cooker. I mean, slow cooker. Do you do you do recipes on slow cooking? I haven't actually done recipes on uh, on on slow cooker. I have a slow cooker, Jeanette. We call it Sophie. It takes me to work. Uh, oh, <laughs> don't be me. <laughs> she doesn't finish tonight, so or she won't get home to about quarter to nine. So uh, she'll uh, finish work about eight ish time she gets out, which is usually a bit late. So she gets home, it's going to be about quarter to nine. So when I'll end up going, right, go on, let's go to the chippy then. <laughs> Oh, I like that one that Nick's put up. You see that one? Nick, is it on his Facebook? The old girl while she's cooking and swigging, swigging away and he's put, is this you, Jeanette? <laughs> I put, yep, yeah, you got it, Nick. It's called the dance and swig. <laughs> and Chris put more like the swiggy dance. Right, I'm trying to find it. It, 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 it. It's it's a t-shirt. I can't actually remember where whether it were actually on my my um You want about that, you want about that picture, aren't you, Ian? Yes, that's the one. Yeah, well, that was the, at the same party. At the same party? Yeah. I put that up before. <laughs> a wimbo, a wimbo. <laughs> yeah, this this is a this is a man's t-shirt. I am not spoiled. My wife just loves me. She was born in September. She has anger issues and she is a bit crazy. <laughs> I love her and she is the love of my life. I'm the lucky one because I get to be her husband. Do you remember Kevin Sim on The Voice? I can't remember him now. There's yeah. another one. This is another one that I shared as well. It says, A September woman was not fragile like a flower, she was fragile like a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> That Kevin Sim, who did Liberty X, he went up the voice and won it, Jeanette. Did he? This is him singing at one of the weddings that I was DJing at. Well, that lasted long. You see, the thing is, I don't watch The Voice, I don't watch X Factor, I don't watch... So you don't watch it? He was on... Um... He, he were, well, originally he was in Liberty X, a band back in, I think, 2000 it was. Um, well, they split up um, and then he ended up going on this like big reunion. So it was like five steps and all that on ITV. So I'd done that back in 2014 when he was doing the big reunion. Um, and he turned up at one of my weddings and he went, oh, I'm singing tonight. I said, yeah, yeah, sure you are, mate. And he went, no, no. I'm singing first dance. I was like, yeah, yeah, sure you are, mate. Right? Thinking he was winding me up. And he was like, no, no, deadly serious. Like, um, so he ended up working with me. And then the following year, he went on to um, The Voice, which me personally shouldn't have been allowed on it because he's still class a professional singer anyway. And yeah, well, I mean, it defeats object. I mean, it's like X Factor yeah. or um, any other programme. If your professional is trained, then you've got an advantage yep. over everybody because you're a professional singer. Yeah, he's already made it up there uh, and done it, so I wasn't too overly pleased about that. And then he went and won the voice, uh, which I thought was a bit wrong. But hey, you can't uh, please everyone. When you see that Love Island fan, she finishes tonight. Woo! I was very busy as I said to this young lady. I can't find my girl. Can I talk to you for a few days? I was like, how about how much? She said, I bet. 
اوكي 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 Kevin Sim from Liberty Axe. He won the voice. Oh, work in a little gap. Hop just a little. Gap. Yeah, that, that's the one. He was, uh, I'm just showing Jeanette a minute ago. Um, about four years ago. Uh, I don't know if you realise with my name, but <coughs> I'm a wedding DJ. Uh, that he is. Do you just like randomly show up? Pretty much, yeah. The bride and both him. Oh. My dance floor. He could have had a shave. <laughs> that was just before he won the voice. That just saying, oh. you know, it's a bit wrong because he's a professional singer and he went and won the voice, didn't he? Yeah. So uh, he's um... I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, like, I don't know who if you know who Sarah Vertit is. I mean, she's a YouTuber, she's you know, she's from Swindon, I think. Yeah, she's got an absolutely fantastic voice. I mean, same as Dennis's wife, they've got a fantastic voice. Now, everybody keeps saying to Sarah Vertit, you ought to do the voice or you ought to do X Factor, but she says, No, I'm not going to do it because, from my point of view, it's all fixed. Yeah, and that's why she won't do it, even though she's got a fantastic voice. I feel like people from The Voice don't generally do very well, though. Like after afterwards, yeah, you don't really tend to like hear about them again. Oh, yeah, it's, 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 getting same on, with, yeah. it's getting same with X Factor, though. I mean, I, I'm you know, how many people I mean, like Ollie Mews is famous and he didn't actually win it, he didn't, did he? He took yeah. off, but I've seen, I've seen Ali Mers, right, before he was actually as famous as he is. Now he'd done the Jingle Bell Ball um, at Manchester Arena, and he started the show off there, and everyone was like, oh, yeah, he's off X Factor, and now look at him. It was the same as Ed Sheeran. i seen Ed Sheeran at the same event, and everyone was like, who's Ed Sheeran? And now look at Ed Sheeran. But you see, Sarah Bircher has actually done a duet with Ed Sheeran on... Um... On um, on YouTube. No way. Yeah. Is there? Uh, is a I'll DJ. See I, I'll see if I can find it for you. There's a DJ on my Facebook. Dave Buck. His name is. He done Ed Sheeran's manager's wedding, and Ed Sheeran sung the first dance. Hi, Paul. That was about two years ago. That. Oh. But yeah, I seen I seen Ed Sheeran at the same event. Before he was even like famous, and she's done one with Clean Bandit as well. Just recently, she it, no way. This this is fantastic. I mean, this is one she did. Dance to it. That's Sarah with dark hair. And she's got a fantastic voice. Yeah. She has, she's got an, it, it, she's got an absolutely fantastic voice. Yeah, Ed Sheeran, Castle on the Hill duet. All right. All right. Let's give this a bit of go. Yes. When I was six years old, I broke my leg. I was running from my brother and his friends. Taste the sweet perfume on an old in grass I walked on I was younger then Take me back to when I found my heart and broke it here Made friends and lost them through the years And I'm missing No way Yeah 
she's got absolutely fantastic voice and uh, you know dennis's wife emma yeah she, she's awesome she's got a fantastic voice she has i'll try and find your hers are you all going out to spain then yes i'm in spain lucy oh i'm going to spain yes um I go, I go on the 8th, which is next week. Um, I move 90% of my stuff over there. Um, I, I go back into anyway working. Um, but I'll be working Wednesday to Saturday over in Spain. Um, and then um, I'll what to call. Um, be moving officially 110% 24th of March with, with Sophie. Oh, yeah. this, this is one way she does the my heart, my heart will go on from. By Jet song, this. That is Dennis's wife, Emma. She's got a brilliant voice. She's got another one. Um, um, Jeanette all the time, you know, Lucy. Sorry? I said I sing that song all the time to Jeanette. This is one of my favourites as well. <laughs> this is this is one of my absolute favourites. Decline. I'm crazy. I'm feeling so lonely. I'm crazy. She, she's got. She's, I mean, she. You know, it's. Uh, she's. She's got an amazing voice. But I, I'm not. I'm not going to do the Amazing Grace one because I get a bit teary eyed at that one. I don't like Amazing Grace. Oh, where have you gone? I'm getting demands here of of a guy called Chris. Uh, I am. There's a guy called Chris <laughs> giving me de giving me demands. This one's a good one. This one, you'll know this one. Oh, you like bit of Top Gun. Now she got a fantastic voice. Yeah. She hasn't that one. But thing is, Dennis says she got offered a recording contract and turned it down. Why? Well, basically family commitments, I think. It's not just that, Lucy. It's I've just been through I do a bit of filming for like ITV and I just done channel four recently, right? What on the undatables? Nope. <laughs> that, look. Um, the hassle that you get with it afterwards, right, is not nice. Yeah, okay. So I can't say Jeanette knows what I'm talking about what I've done recently. I can't say on the live stream what I've done, but we'll be on the hangouts so we'll let you know. Yeah. Um, um Emma, I've just been playing everybody your songs and everybody's yeah, been listening, listening to you, Emma. Yeah, fantastic voice you've got. I've been singing your praises. And she surpassed her husband with the supporters because she's got 177 now. Nah. Oh, she's on fire. She's on fire. She'll soon hit the 1,000. She'll soon be up there. I'm sure I'm supporting Emma already. No, I no I... Emma, you've got a new one. Oh, she says it was because I was in London and I had to travel every day. And had young ones, so I had to turn it down. Yeah, you see, this is the problem. Yeah, um, when you've got family commitments, it's a bit hard to, you know, sort of put your family commitments to one side to follow your dream, you know. But I'm sure somebody uh, 
now your kids is a little bit older um it might come to fruition one day emma you never know well you know the one i done last week Jeanette? yeah right i've had nothing but my since then of the it's all great the phone keeps ringing and it's all work but it's that clientele <laughs> Which we yeah. Both. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah. So I mean I totally understand that because what you were saying, it is like a dodgy area if you know what I mean. Yeah, it's not so it's great for all the money and everything else, but people don't realise all the hassle the, you, if you make it big, what actually happens. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm only on a wedding programme and I'm getting hassle now constantly because they've scripted certain things which is into that and when that actually does get broadcasted i'm expecting it to double the hassle on it to be honest yeah yeah so, totally agree it's, it's it's like the money's good but all the hassle that comes with it ain't worth it it's not it's really not as you know i've got a couple of friends uh, which is the real housewives of cheshire uh, and yes. i've done a few for them guys and the stuff that from then like I've done on for, for them guys, the hassle you get with it, it's great for the money when they pay me, but the hassle you've got to go through, it's, it's, all, it's a nuisance. It, it's basically, it's nice to get that recognition that you're doing something for somebody famous, but all the hassle that you get that goes with it, is it worth it at the end of the day? Sometimes not. Sometimes really not. I'm I'm dreading this one now, Janet, to be honest with you. Uh Sophie will tell you. Um some of the, the messages I've had on Facebook from that clientele, right? Begging me, harassing me, constantly mesh. I had one yeah, where is it? I didn't know at first, so give more prices and stuff. Right. And then when I clicked onto it, his profile, the prices kept going up, Janet. And it was just, yeah. but, but you've done this one at that place. Um, we're looking at doing ours as well on the TV. And I was like, no, nah, just no, it's just not even going. It's September 2019 next year. And we started off at £900 um, of what he wanted. Currently in talks, and it's up to £2,100 now. Which is great for the money, but that's all because of that. So well, I'm that's... not doing it. I'm not doing it, so... Yeah. I'm not doing it at all. So, uh, and put, to be honest, nowadays a lot of singers now sing on YouTube and make a living out of it. So don't need record deals anymore. Yep. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, you 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 imagine, you know, the sort of money that these famous singers are making. It'd be nice to get recognised, get yeah, famous. But you know what I mean. But then the downside of it is. Your family life and everything suffers with that fame. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so yeah. it was right there with Justin Bieber. That's true. Very true. Justin Bieber. <laughs> Seen him in Manchester for the One Love concert. Are he's you, he's are seen you all the controversies. Uh, the controversy that's surrounding the uh, the guy that uh, the suicide bomber that was at the Ariana Grande. That's what I was about. The one love. I was I went to the one love tonight on my channel. Yeah, uh, I've seen that before, saying that he was actually shipped out of war, wasn't he? And put onto a Royal Navy. He boat. actually got rescued from Syria, given British citizenship. And he was actually classed as English, and he was on a list of potential terrorists, and nobody took any notice. Wow. He lived in St. Helens above a kebab shop for about three months uh, when it all kicked off. Phil, who's a good friend of mine from the Quayside, um, he went with his wife and daughter. Phil now is left with scars right down the side of his face and his body. Because what they didn't tell you also on the news, when the nail bombs went off, he dipped all the nails in poison. So the explosion didn't pretty much kill you. All the poison, what went into all well, the Well, I'm going bombs. to tell you a story now. My nephew and his girlfriend 
actually went to that concert. So that's what I'm saying, that's what Phil was at. Yeah, and ten minutes before the bomb went off, they left. Scary. So, you know, it were very lucky, but previous to that, you know, the uh, Brussels market, um, where the truck drove through the market, killing several Lost, people. Yeah. They were actually there a week before that as well. <laughs> so twice. It, it Someone's looking after them. Yeah. It, 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 the week previous to that, that truck on the Brussels market, it says he were walking around that market week previous to that. And then, same as I say, that, that Ariana Grande, he took his girlfriend and they actually left 10 minutes before the bomb exploded. It's, it is very, very scary, <laughs> uh, to be honest, uh, how close to home it can get. That's yeah. close home for me because obviously it's only 10 minutes away from where I live. So it was very, very... I'm going to show you something from the One Love concert, actually. See if you recognise anyone, guys. I'm just trying to find her. It was just so random as well. Like... Yeah, yeah. He, he just decided to do it to me. And obviously, when he'd gone to Syria, gone back to Syria, he'd been, well, they said they were radicalised in this country. It's just weird to think, like, what makes someone wake up in the morning and go, I'll choose the Ariana Grande. I can't say her name. I'll choose that. That particular concert. Do you know what I mean? I, do, I can't sort of get my head around why someone would choose something so. Yeah, but I mean, what what sort of what sort of blows my mind is the fact that there were a lot of children there as well. Yeah. yeah. And this is what blows my mind. He didn't care who we killed or who we blew up. No. Like that, you know, it breaks my heart that the. The, yeah, children did lose their lives, but the, to, to to pick a, a concert where they knew that there'd be a lot of children there, you know, and that sort of blows my mind. How could somebody be so vile as to specify that concert where they knew that there was going to be a lot of children? Yeah. I'm just trying to find something on here from it, which will make you all laugh. So I weren't too sure if I knew Jeanette at this time, to be honest. Let's see if I can find her. It's just playing through now. But yeah, I mean, Emma says, wow, they were lucky. Same as I say, that were two instances. You know, the Brussels, uh, Brussels uh, going through the marketplace and killing several. They were only there week before that. Yeah, Emma, you're right there. I mean, it's it's one of these things where you can't possibly fathom out anybody's mind that thinks like that when you don't think like that yourself, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. You know, how could anybody possibly stoop that low to do things like that, knowing the consequences? Yeah. Are you going to the same place, Jeanette, that Ian's going, or...? Well, what, when? Holiday. Oh, no. No, we're not going. We're only going to Isle of Wight. <laughs> I'm going to New Yorker. Yeah. We're not going as sophisticated as what Ian is. <laughs> we're we're only going to Isle. Isle of Wight. Yeah, that's strange because it's not that. I mean, whereas Ian's getting a plane, are we getting a ferry? <laughs> Oh dear, but it's a holiday. We'll enjoy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean the same as Chris sort of said to me the other day. I'm not bothered about it being as hot as what it has been lately. He says so long as it's fine, so long as it can, because he's taking the drone with him. Because there is some nice views and whatever in the Isle of Wight. But um, but yeah, same as he said. I don't want it red hot, but I want it you know, fine, so we can get his drone up in the air and we can go visit places. Yeah. Just trying to find a video for you guys. I'm struggling. <laughs> uh, do you struggle with everyday tasks? Or... I do, I do. 
right? But I'm 99 percent certain I know it is, right? On this one. Are you like an old old fashioned styley DJ, or do you just get your iTunes up? We don't use iTunes. That is offensive. <laughs> we do not use iTunes. Uh, I am a wedding DJ slash club DJ. I can play whatever pretty much I want. But at the same time, I am an ex dancer for Blue in Westlife as well. Right. I'm a red <laughs> coat. Used to be a red coat as well. Yes. So. We see, but you see, back in my day, I mean, like going back many, many years ago, my ex was a DJ. He had his own disco equipment. But we're talking about vinyl record type of thing. And so to them, when it moved on to like the karaoke, you had to get the karaoke equipment, and that's when it went on to CDs and CD players and this, that, and other. You know, uh, I'm sort of going back, way back. You know, when he first started out, it were all vinyl. I started out when I was carrying five and a half thousand uh, CDs with me. When I very first started, that was 19 years ago. It's a bit changed now. It's all on laptop now. Well, this is it. I mean, most discos nowadays do everything via the laptop. You know, there's the karaoke side of it. There's... I hate it. I only do karaoke twice a week. Uh, but um, my main stuff, right there it is. Got it. Oh. Let's knock it back a couple of seconds. Right. Are we ready, guys? Yes. Right. Let's ready. See Let's see if you recognise anybody. There's the iPad. No. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> you look really confused. Like, just like, what am I doing here? What am I doing? <laughs> that was that was the one love concert front row, and that's the said X. Yes, that is the horrible X. Uh, that is wiping out completely. Uh, oh, that's right. that's Sharon, who we didn't know was going to be there, and that's my sister, who's twenty five, who has learning difficulties. You ought to clean your clean your nails, mate. And I'll be <laughs> the, literally the, the minging at the minute. Uh, I was doing gardening before, so uh, that's why. Okay. Right, let's go back. Uh, and then I ran out quick because I was going to get shirts. Uh, my hands aren't being enough. Before. Uh, so, all right, it's okay. Very sick, disturbing people. Oh, damn it. Right, okay, we're back now. We're back. Last year, that was the One Love concert. One Love. That was the One Love concert. Right, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to shut it down. If we want to stay behind Lucy and Ian, and we'll have that conversation. Um, yes. I did say I weren't going to go for very long, and here I am at half past three. Flaming flies is buzzing about the doing me nothing. So I am going to stop the broadcast, and thank you, Emma, for coming in and everybody else that came in. It was a little impromptu live stream, but... I want to thank everybody for coming in and uh, I'll see you all in the morning. Bye. Bye. Later, bye. <laughs>